Hello everyone, this is Jack from Data Breeze app. Behind me is the 2012 Camry Hybrid. And today we are going to swap out the battery with the lithium. Um, the customer purchased the lithium in an effort to compensate for the crazy gas price right now. Uh, in California, especially in LA, it's almost hitting $7 per gallon. It's a crazy time. And also, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step on how to install the uh, new battery as well as doing the MPG test at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Let me just walk you through a big picture of what we are dealing with it today. Um, so with the Camry Hybrid, the battery is located in the trunk space behind the back seat over there. So you can see this uh, bulky item over here. This is the battery. And from the rear side, this is actually pretty easy. You just need to get this panel off. Here we go. That's it. And you will see the battery cell. And the bolt is right there at the bottom. You can easily access. The problem now is at the front, there are also bolts. Now you can get, get access to. Um, to do that, first thing you have to pop the, uh, the back seat. Okay. Once you have the back seat, the passenger side can be fold down. Once you fold down the passenger side, there's a latch over here, you have to pull and to release the driver's side back seat. And now, this is the main part. You have to take this seat out. There are, there are a couple of bolts here, well actually two. And then you have to take this panel out. There are two 12 millimeter underneath hiding inside. So you kind of need to fill it and then remove it. Once you have this out, this plastic cover can be out. And once this is out, you will be able to access the bolts that bolt the, uh, the battery onto the chassis, right? And then the rest will be pretty standard. Basically, unhook all the uh, air duct, unhook all the connectors, and pull the battery out of the car. This is the battery for the Camry. Uh, I want it to be perfect, therefore I hook it up with the equalizer that's on sale on our website right now. I want to make sure everything's perfectly in sync before I install into the car. For Camry, there are a total of 17 blades go onto the car. All right, let's take out the 12 volt battery first. Here we go. Let's take out the uh, cargo mat. And now let's move on to the front. Okay, so we have the battery out of the car and you will see a lot of YouTube video actually ask you to remove everything while the battery is still on the car. And I, don't, I, I still don't know why because <laughs> there's a lot of bolt that is very hard to reach. So I'd rather have the whole thing maybe a little bit heavier but put it on the table so I can work with it easily that way. And of course, first thing to do Let's cut the power in half. The service block. Here we go. And the fan. 
See, everything is so easy while it's out of the car. Inspect the fan. This fan is actually okay. It must be clean previously. Looks pretty good to me. Alright. Let's take out the outer shield and reveal the battery inside. Before we take this uh, cover out let's measure the weight let's see what's the weight difference before and after this thing is heavy so I gotta be very careful don't hurt my back here we go oh I forgot to turn it on um. Calibrating. Here we go. Whew. It is a hundred and three point five pound. Actually, a hundred and four pound. A hundred and four pound. Wow. Oh, heavy. Whew. Rip a hole on my shirt. Let me show you some detail of the battery here. As you can see, a normal wear and tear, the liquid, the KOH liquid leaking out. All right. This will not happen on the lithium battery at all. There's no toxic chemical inside. How about the other side? Let's take a look. Yeah. Corrosion here and there. Otherwise, in pretty good shape. Okay, now it's time to uh, take out the blades and to be sure the temperature of the battery blade is not too high all right i let the car see for a day so it's all cool nice and cool i can take it out otherwise the battery could puff the nickel metal hydro battery will puff and it will reduce the capacity or even make it unusable so just wait till it pull down All right, I went out to buy some vinegar over here. Remember earlier we see the, uh, the corrosion on the copper bus bar here. So that's why I keep telling everyone, if you do it yourself, just spend your time, take your time and clean out everything. All right, do it right the first time. This will reduce the re uh, internal resistance and uh, the, the battery will run cooler and of course it will run last longer and you'll get better MPG of course from all the corrosion over here cleaning up take your time all right and this vinegar 
well it used to cost like three dollars now it's six dollars but still you just need a little, little portion to uh, to and and the soak the uh, copper boss bar here being a few hours and all the bus bar is nice and shining and i only need half of this so uh, this is more than enough let me rinse it with water and then clean up with the tower then let's start the insulation process another tip i would like to show you guys is this this is called uh, Deoxid D5. This is used by my friend at the uh, JPL NASA. They use this on the Mars rover. Um, basically, they spray it on the metal to uh, uh, reduce the, the uh, corrosion, the chance of corrosion, also increase the conductivity on the metal surface. Yeah, remove oxidation as well. So, what I'm going to do is spray this. Soak it to the metal bus, uh, copper bus bar and clean it up before installation. And before you put on the metal case, uh, inspect the work again. See, I only use half of the uh, copper bus bar. I picked the best one, the shiny one. Install to the uh, the blades. Nice and shiny now. Okay. And look at the uh, special blade. You have to line it out with the hole over here. This is for camera only. Okay. Make sure everything's good, then uh, proceed with the installation of the connector, temperature sensor, as well as the harness. Okay, let's weight this thing before putting it back. The, uh, with the nickel metal hybrid battery is 104 pounds. Let's see what's the uh, lithium battery with that. 
73 pound 73.5 pound that's exactly 30 pound lighter I know I mentioned this many times, but I want to say one more time. You have to plug it in 90 degree and push it in. Okay, that will connect the whole circuit. Without doing that, you'll get an error code right away. Now let's connect the 12 volt battery. Now, before you put the uh, back seat and all the panel back on, It'll be a good idea to fire the car first and then check the status with Dr. Priest app. So let's do that. Here we go. Firing out for the first time, you have to press the ready twice. You hear the clicking, you run the Dr. Priest app. Engine fire up. It's good so far. Check for air coat. No air coat. No engine air coat as well. Voltage different at 0, 0.0 or 0 0.1 volt. That's very minimum. Everything looks good. So that's uh, warm out the car and go do a, a MPG test. So MPG test. We just reboot the car with the turbo battery, so everything's new. Uh, the computer has been reset, so it's recalculating the MPG. Right now it's only three. Uh, so let's take the same route as uh, yesterday. Uh, I did the route, and uh, the result come back was 39 to 40 MPG. So I'm going to do the same route. Um, I'll put the result from yesterday on the screen. Uh, yesterday I was using the eco mode. Let's see how I can switch to eco mode on this car. All right, guys, we are here driving uh, 30 miles, and I'm not even joking. This is the MPG after the leasing battery, 56.3 MPG compared to 40 MPG that I did yesterday. 
and not only that this is with uh, two boxes of heavy battery in the back let me show you uh, I have the uh, original stock battery in the back they weighed about a hundred pounds <laughs> so that's a pretty good result you can tell you all right folks that's a wrap for the uh, Camry Elysium swap a uh, couple things I would like to point out in the video is the the comparison of MPG from 41 all the way to 56.2 MPG that's actually not a fair comparison because the car is 10 years old and you see all the corrosion in the nickel metal hydro battery right so that will all affect the MPG on that vehicle so the, if you compare with new nickel metal hydro battery and lithium battery then that will be a fair comparison so I would like to point that out also i was doing tasks in the afternoon time so the ac doesn't kick in as often as the uh the earlier when i test in the very hot uh daylight it's about 85 degree outside so it's a little bit different but again 41 jump to 56 still a big differences um yeah so maybe one day i can find a brand new nickel battery battery and then compare with the brand new lithium battery then i will call you a fair again uh and on another point um the camry battery is super heavy definitely have your friends coming over have a beer pizza and help you out uh i personally work out and uh, i ride a lot of bicycles so i have a very strong back to support me so don't try this at home unless you have a helper i don't want you to break your back over this 104 pound of nickel metal had your battery it's uh, not worth it okay all right thank you guys for watching hit that subscribe and like the video and definitely check our website projectlinkedin.com we have fresh batch coming into the u.s every month i see you at the next one cheers